In this video, we are going to discuss about STP basics. So coming to what exactly an STP is, the Spanning Tree protocol is responsible for identifying links in the network and shutting down the redundant ones and preventing possible network loops here. So in order to do so, all switches in the network exchange the BDPUs and between them to agree upon the root bridge. So after exchanging the BDPUs, they agree upon the root bridge based on two things here. One is MAC address and priority value. So once they elect the root bridge, every switch has to determine which of the ports will communicate with the root bridge or the root port through it. So if more than one link connects to the root bridge, the, then one elected as a forwarding port that is called as a designated port and the others are blocked. That means you see one when you when you have a network of three switches connected and here one switch is elected as a root bridge switch and to connect through the root bridge switch the other two switches will be having a root ports. So only a designated port or a forwarding port is elected and rest are all blocked here. So if let us see the operation of SPP by using a simple example here. So this is an example this is a router. So switch A, B and C here. So based on the MAC value and or the MAC address or the priority value root C is elected as a root bridge. So the switch B through this root port will be connected to the root bridge and switch A through this root port is connected to the root bridge of the C here. So this switch A has host C and B connected, switch B has host A and B connected and switch C has host E and F connected. So all ports are here in the root bridge are in forwarding state and you can see the MAC addresses mentioned for A, B and C here. So here this is how the blocking occurs except the root port forwarding to the root bridge the rest all are blocked because not to create the loops here. So you see that the root bridge needs to be elected. So two fields are considered here one is the MAC address value and the priority value. So without manual configuration on all switches have the same priority value. So without manual configuration the priority value is default set to a set of a single value so that that value will be same for all the switches. So how this root bridge is elected here this is based on the MAC address. So with the switch in the lowest MAC address value is elected as a root bridge. In the diagram what we have discussed that root C or the switch C has the lowest MAC address so that it can it, it, it takes that into consideration and elected the root bridge as root switch C here. Once the root bridge is elected each switch needs to send a single root port the port closest to the root bridge that means here if you see a switch has a root port which is nearby to the root bridge and that is connected and it is called as a root port. This port will always be in a forwarding state or a designated port here. By default all the ports in the road bridge are in forwarding state and moreover one of the port per segment called designated port is allowed to be in the forwarding state. So by default all, all the ports on the root bridge will be in the forwarding state but in the adjacent switches which connects to the root bridge will be in a forwarding state and rest all will be in a block state. This is about the STP basics.